We'll go back, guys, to more Fallout 4, and we just broke Nick Valentine out of the vault, and we, um, these two, they, uh, they're having a little bit of a moment. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. Hold on. What weapons do I have? Okay, I got a baseball gut. Good. Mama cocktail. Guess I need that. Man, I have very poor weapons at my, at my disposal. Maybe I'll just use this. Stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. That wasn't the plan originally, but hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. You got something to say? Say it to me. You and Nick know each other? It's troublemaker here used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Now quit stalling. You're gonna talk? Talk. You're fat, you're ugly, and it's time you and your crazy bitch said goodbye. <laughs> Get down. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm missing something. Uh, okay, what? How many? How many do these things that I do I have? motion movie action going on here. Go, 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 go. Blow your face up. Yeah, the reason why I got bought back into Fallout 4 it was not because of, you know, it wasn't because, you know, I was tired of it. It was just, you know, the Silver Shroud quest. Ooh. <laughs> It was the Silver Shroud quest, and that's what got me going into uh, Fallout again. You get down! Yep. Um. Get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Hold on, I gotta fix something. Settings, audio. Alright. Let's head. Let's get Nick Valentine back to Diamond City. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry that you didn't get to see the action where we just broke out Nick Valentine, but... Um, yeah, he's a really cool character in Fallout 4, so I highly recommend that you uh, take care of this guy uh, throughout your adventures, because he's a really cool dude. 
and um, uh, a really devastating thing a really devastating thing happened to me while I was playing on my guest account because I have a guest account on my PS4 and I play on my games there if I wanted to have some private time um, what really happened in my de guest account what happened to Nick Valentine was that he turned on me now I don't know if it's gonna be on this file um, but it did happen uh, it did happen to me twice uh, while I was on my adventure so maybe as something in his circuits that's gonna turn on me um, but he shouldn't so let's try to keep him as cool as possible so we don't lose Nick Valentine throughout our uh, Fallout adventure. Uh, I am going to be starting up the Fallout series again pretty soon. I mean, pretty soon. I thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie, she sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. All right, um, okay. Yeah, so the reason why I got back into Fallout 4 was all these little details and things that make the game real special. Um, hmm, I haven't really upgraded anything. Let's go. Hmm. What do I want to level up? I think... I think I want to generate... I think I want to generate Medic, because Medic gives a little bit more of that, so let's do like a little bit of that. Since I'm like at level 9 now. Alright. Let's teleport us to back to Diamond City. So, uh, let's see. Diamond City. Where are you, Diamond City? There we go. Huh. It's a baseball field. I never knew that. Oh, there's enemies nearby. Okay. Big Valentine's just traveling behind me. He's tagging along. Yeah, I really do love Nick Valentine. I wouldn't abandon him. Can't open it from this end. Ah, crap. She she is dead chained in. Holy crap! Look at all these enemies. I don't have time for you guys. Nick, what is the plan? Oh crap! Oh no 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 no! Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Hope my leg heals. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. That really sucks. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, I really hate my armor piece right now. It's so bad. You know what? I should I should upgrade that weapon. Yeah, I think I should, but I don't have any bullets for it left, so. Man, I had so much on my character. So much. So much on my character. It's so embarrassing. Like like um like I had this like one sword. I have this one sword right now. Uh, it's an electric sword, which is in pretty, pretty freaking impressive about this game. Why would they have swords? I don't know, but 
I found a really powerful bond by this like one robot thing and it was awesome. Um, come on. I gotta move slow. Give me a freaking stim pack any day. Should have backed into me. <laughs> she is so stupid. Oh my gosh. Ah, I can't run. Shoot. I gotta get rid of something. What do I gotta get rid of? Maybe I should... No, that's... That's a little powerful. Um, let's... Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, let's get rid of... That. Let's get rid of... Do I have? Well, 101 jumpsuit. I might sell that. That gives me reds. That hold that will only slow me down. Buff out. Dead already. Stop shooting me. God. Man, I have such. Oh, he's having a seizure. Oh, he was like having a seizure for one second, but that was funny. That was funny. Was all... Uh. Okay. Do I want to take that? I don't know. I could sell it on eBay. But then that'll only slow me even down even more. Man, I'm so crippled right now. I need... I need a stim pack. What the heck? Okay. Maybe there's something in this... Maybe there's something in here. No, I don't want to go in here. I didn't want to go in there. Actually, I did want to go in here. Ooh. Oh, bam! Bam! Yeah, sucker, you just got your head blown off. Shotgun shell, don't need that. You know, I really need to get to Diamond City. But something is slowing me down, so I have to... I have to, you know, give something to Piper. Hold on. Oh yeah, I could give stuff to Piper. Whoa! She has no, nothing at all. Look at that. Uh, bat, pull, sharp pull kill, double barrel shotgun. There's a musket. Yeah, sure, she can keep that. Yeah, take those, Piper. Until we don't need them. Hmm. So gas mask. Okay. Okay, now we're now we're good. Man, these loading screens take a little while to hold up, but anyways. Um Yeah. So yeah, I found a lot of things in Fallout 4. It's just been 
This is I gotta get out of here. I gotta run, 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 run. It's the very first time this, since I've ever run from anything. Because my... Because my character... He's been OP right now, and it's just been so freaking awesome to eliminate every single guy across the board. How do I do it? How do I em 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 like how do I like kill everything across the board in Fallout 4? Uh, police in a inspect. Um, yeah, how do I eliminate everything? Well, the key to that is, is that you have to do this one quest called the Silver Shroud quest, and I think I'm going to be doing that in this playthrough once again, once I get on board with everything. Yeah. There it is. There's Diamond City. All right, we head in here. Let's go talk to Vic, Nick Valentine. Stuff like that, because nothing's ever, because nothing, nothing special ever even happened in this episode yet. And I'm only level nine, so I'm gonna be leveling up real fast. It looks like so. Looks like I need to sell some stuff that I really don't really even need. That's one of my character, you know, levels up really quickly. Let's make this episode. I'll sell some stuff after this conversation, and we'll pack. We'll pack it up. Um, but I'm not gonna be selling so I'm gonna be selling stuff off camera so you won't have to watch me the process of selling stuff because you already know that you guys yeah that was really stupid when Nick, Nick Valentine um, you know, turned on me in one of these episodes oh god it's really you it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward, plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa, one case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat, make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care. Baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean. They, they just. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. They waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. 
A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. It's got a prototype anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace in his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that's how. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Not much to go on. But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... Might have. Everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned white stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town. You two should still be careful. I always am. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode. If you love this episode of Fallout 4, please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later.